Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about the Windows system subsystem Linux. So, how to transfer the file from the Windows Home 11 to the Windows subsystem Linux? The procedures involved in it, I'm going to explain it right now. So, the first step is I uh, have to enable that Windows subsystem Linux. In order to do that, you have to go to the control panel. Then, you have to go to the program and features and turn on Windows features on or off. Then enable virtual machine platform Windows subsystem for Linux. Once you've done that, you have to go to that command line and window in the administrative uh, profile. Then you have to type this bcd edit set hypervisor launch type as auto auto. Then so once you've done this, you just restart to your system. Then you have to uh, install it in uh, the Ubuntu in the app store. Once you installed it. You have to enable the SSH in order to transfer the file with the help of WinSAP. So you have to enable uh, this SSH using you have to follow these commands. Then you have to download any files from the Windows uh, home directory. Then you can transfer through WinSAP to the Windows subsystem Linux. So uh, now I'm going to do that. So first. Uh, windows are that will open this uh, run window then type appvis.cpl this will open um, these programs and features turn windows features are on or off then enable windows subsystem for linux and enable virtual machine platform then click ok then search for the command line and you have to open it as administrator then you have to type bcd edit set hypervisor launch type as auto so once you've done this you just restart your computer once you restart it then you can come over here and open the microsoft store so you can search over here so my microsoft store you can open this so once you open this this window will open in here you can type uh, ubuntu so there are different versions are there you just go and try to install 22 uh, uh this uh, this version so i have already installed it so you can uh, get it from here some uh, uh, then it will download uh, then it will install it automatically so i will show you how it will be look like for so you have to um, click this get button then once you installed it you can come over here and search for ubuntu so you can uh, run as administrator or just open the window so straight away you can see this uh, window so once you've done this you have to install sudo uh, apt install open ssh server so i have already installed in it so you, you go ahead and install it after that you have to uh, check whether that open ssh server is uh, started or not so sudo So these are the command you have to sudo service ssh status so it's running if it is not running you go ahead and uh, changes restart um, the service you can do that so another important thing you have to do you have to um, open um, sudo nano etc ssh sshd config so in here you have to enable this port 
port 22 then uh, password authentication yes uh, another thing also you need to enable yeah this uh, permit root login enabled so these are the thing you need to um, remove this hash then you have to save the file you have to give the command as control o then hit enter and control x for saving the file once you done this you can restart the SSH then you can check the service also sorry status so it's currently um, starting the server so wait for a minute it will start the server and it, it's now running okay so once you've done this you can come over here uh, you can download this file bone motion so once you download you just open the file and start here Okay, so now you can uh, open WinSD. So in here we need to give the host name. This is the IP address of WinSD. So in order to find that, you just type IP add or IP route. So this is your IP address. Then. The username it will ask when you once you installing it uh, your WSL it will ask that password also you have to give over here so it will connect now we, uh, we have uh, two directory structures so this is Windows subsystem uh, Linux subsystem directory and this is our Windows home machine just open uh, and browse where you have, we have downloaded the file so we have download over here so you can choose downloads click ok in here we have this bone motion drag and drop over here So once you drag and drop, uh, you can go ahead and you can check over here ls. So we have uh, our new bone motion uh, 3.0. Not o. we have transferred it to the Windows uh, subsystem Linux. So please feel free to uh, ask your doubts in your comment section. I'll be helping you in order to uh, access this. Uh, win SCP and transferring the file from the windows home machine to the windows subsystem linux